welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little tutorial for you guys over this neon sign, also glow nail. After doing the previous video on a set of my client with words and neon um, and some suggestions and just some afterthought, I thought it would look really cool to do neon on a black nail. So I went ahead and did it. And recorded it for you guys and kind of tweaked it, did a little matte so the neon would stand out. But I just thought I'd show you guys what I did. So I'm using Perfect Black from Madame Glam. I love this gel polish. It's such a good black. Please, if you get it, apply it very thin. Apply any black you get thin because it can wrinkle no matter how good it is. If it's too thick, it can and probably will wrinkle. So I'm going to go ahead and apply two coats of the black gel polish. And then cure in between each layer, of course. And then we're going to go in with our design. So I'm using the Bambina Art Liner. And you see I use these the black and white all the time. They have other colors, um, so many other colors and finishes, metallics. Um, but I'm using the white one today. I like it because it's a gel striper. So this is gel polish. It needs to be cured in the light. doesn't air dry, but it does have this striper. I usually disperse it onto a form or something and use my own liner brush because this brush is not good for drawing long lines, long straight lines, but it's better for short little work or filling in stuff we're doing kind of now. So I'm going to use the Madame Glam Perfect White. Again, this is very good white. And I'm using the Vetro Gold Line Top Coat. You can use your favorite. I would suggest no white top coat for what we're doing. So I'm just going to mix the white with the clear and we're going to get to, we want two levels of opacity. We want one that's really, really sheer, really sheer and one that's kind of sheared out. So I'm just I shouldn't have used my brush like this. Don't do that. <laughs> what I'm doing now, use something else to mix because you will tear your brush up. So you can see on the left, I have this really, really sheer, sheer white. And on the right, I have another sheer white it's just not as sheer as that one so in the neon if you didn't watch the previous video go ahead and watch it with the, the b word nails what we're looking for is basically a gradation of sheer color on the outside to a brighter and white on the inside of the design so we already drew our initial design that is going to be our inside color or our brightest white color it'll end up being white um so we have that and on either side on the left and the right, we're adding our um, one that's the next level in opacity. It's a little less opaque. Mm -hmm. And we're outlining again on each side of the line we already drew. And this honestly does not have to be like your cleanest and most perfect lines, especially the outside line. The inside line, I should have, if, if this was on client, probably would took time and refined more. But that's the one you probably want to pay most attention to. But these next two that we're outlining doesn't need to be perfect because they're just sheer. So you can see this is a very sheer white we made. And it actually shows up more in real life than on camera. So I, this this design does look better in real life. But that's the kind of opacity we're looking for. You can kind of tell on camera. So again, we're going from... Real sheer, least sheer, and then the opaque color, white in the middle. So I'm just making sure I have that color evenly dispersed on the left and side, left and right side of the line, sorry. And then I'm curing in between each one of those lines also. So you can use something like these marble tints. They're inks, alcohol inks. It doesn't have to be this brand. You can use a sheer gel polish. That's what this is. Or like your jelly colors, anything like that. You just want something more sheer to show the white and that would be ideal for this look. So I am going in and redefining that middle line just so it's a brighter, brighter white and just kind of balancing out, clean up the line a little bit. So you want that again to be your brightest point, your most opaque point. And in this case, it's going to be, uh, you can do it either the a very, very light version of whatever color you're going with or solid white. So I'm going to make this nail matte also. That's how I changed it from last time because I think the matte of the background or the black in contrast with the shiny of the neon 
on top of it being bright is gives it a really cool effect. Just that contrast of both of those things. So I'm just showing you guys an example with the sheer color. You can see you just trace over the line. It doesn't have to be perfect. I wouldn't paint the whole nail sheer because you're going to give like an orange tint or whatever color you're using. You're going to give that tint to the whole nail and I kind of take away from that contrast again that we want. We want the stark matte black with the bright of whatever color we choose. But just to show you guys what we're going for, I would then cure this, if I would follow this through, cure this and redefine that white line again, that center white line, and then top coat with your shiny just over your neon part portion. But I didn't go with this color, I just wanted to show you guys. And make sure also when you do this, you can have a little color outside the, the initial lines that we did as you can see, and that'll kind of give it a little more of a glowing you know, effect too. So I decided not to go with that, and I'm using the marble tint, so I'm just mixing our clear top coat with a little bit of the marble tint. That's gonna give it that jelly color. Again, if you have a, you know, whatever jelly polish you have, something sheer. So I'm just mixing that with the back of the brush as I probably should have earlier when I was mixing the white, and I'm just tracing over this line. It's it doesn't have to be perfect at all and you do want to kind of go outside of our initial outline so go out even further than our sheer white and again that'll give it that that gradation and that blown out edge effect so this is just just tracing at this point if you were doing something precise like lettering or something like that watch that b word video um, because I show you how I use a charcoal pencil, a white charcoal, and sketch out the design, and then you would go in with your white. So I went ahead and cured that pink, and I'm going in and redefining that center line once again. I could have mixed this with a, a splash of pink if I wanted to, um, but I like the stark contrast of the white or neon color and the black. So I tried to do that line thick, and then I thinned it out, trying to see what I liked best. I personally liked it when it was thinner. So after I go in and trace that center line, I'll clean up where it got too thick and I'm just taking a brush dipped in some alcohol and just swiping the edges away and go ahead and redefine that line. I preferred it when it was thinner. I could have probably cleaned up this line even more and actually went over it twice to make it even brighter, which we'll end up doing because I didn't think about doing the glow until after I finished it. I was going in to take the little final pictures and I was like, this should have glowed. Um, so I'll show you the additional portion of that here in a second. But if this is all you're doing, go ahead and just top coat. I'm just top coating the neon part. And then it, like, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. That's why I'm able to do it with the brush and then cure. And then that would be the final result if you didn't do the glow. Now I decided to do the glow. So I'm taking the white mixed with white glow from Wildflowers Academy. It can be whatever color glow you want. I just thought the white would look most appropriate. And again, this is something that looks better in real life. And honestly, if I could go back, if I wasn't too lazy right now, I would have done all the white with the glow. So back up earlier in the video when I mixed the top coat to get the sheer white, I would have tried to mix that with the glow also so that the whole thing glowed. But I don't know if that works. Go ahead and experiment, tag me if you do it, show me if you're able to get the whole thing to glow. But just the middle line glowing looks cool to me. Like again, especially in real life because it looks like it's kind of like buzzing and you kind of see that pink coming out, flaring out on the edges when you see it in the naked eye. So I just mixed that white with the glow. I can't tell you, I just kind of eyeballed it, guessed it. I retraced that center line again, cured it, and I'm top coating again. You don't have to double do it like I did. The glow was an afterthought, so. This is the, the final look with them trying to capture the glow. I wish you guys could see it how I can see it in real life. It's such a cool effect. I hope you guys like this video. If you like the little one nail, let me know. Did you hate that I did the one nail? I kind of liked it because I didn't have to wait on a client. 
and wait weeks and weeks to give you guys this product. So let me know what you think. Uh, go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't too. Bye, you guys.